Yeah, I uh, I like how you brought up the Metro, how he's going at the number one producer because Metro really kind of jumped this whole thing off. Man, my son showed me all the uh, Twitter comments on Metro's page. Man, they was going hard at Metro. Everybody telling them like, "Are you playing some drums?" <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, somebody in the comments, I just got a comment on this. Like somebody said, Tupac did this on Against All Odds. Like, first of all, understand that was more personal than this. Mm -hmm. Like that had to do with personal things going mm -hmm. on. And Jay-Z and Nas and all them at the time wasn't running around taking shots at, at Pac. The only, the only people that really took a shot at Pac, like a verifiable, we talking about you nigga shot. Mob. While Pac was here, is Mob Deep on drop a gem on him? The rest of them dudes was not talking that shit to Pac, so that's yeah, not yeah. an accurate statement that you make, yeah. fam. I'm, like, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad you brought up that era, Coop. You know what I mean? Because I saw somebody comment <laughs> in the chat earlier that uh, me and you get giddy over anything, but that's one thing that I was kind of wanting to know because a lot of things I've been seeing on Twitter yesterday, you know, to us, the 40 and up crowd, a lot of people is like, well, this is a light pack. It really ain't all that whatever, you know what I mean, compared to, you know, the Ether takeover day, second round KO with LL and all that. I'm a, of the aspect, I'm, a, I'm just happy to be back in this space with hip hop again, where it's competitive. You know what I mean? Even if it's not on the level of what we're used to, this hasn't happened in a long time, probably since Pusha T and Drake, which was, you know, a handful of years ago or more. So, uh -huh. you know, how, how do y'all feel about, the space that we're in now, I'm just happy to be getting it. I mean, I'm proud dad. Listen, my son was in shambles yesterday because he's like commenting in the discord. He's pacing around the house with his hands on his head, like get mad at people's comments. I'm like, dog, welcome to my world. Cause when I was in college, I'm about to square up and fight, you know, true friends of mine over the Jay-Z Nas beef. And that's wild to even say as an adult, you know, fighting yeah. over another grown man that I don't even know, but that's what it was back then. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we was going hard champion, going hard and championing our um, favorite artists and getting upset because we're passionate about this hip hop thing. Right. So my son is in that stage now where he's dissecting lyrics. We, you know, going through like, Oh, this bar was a double entendre, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just happy we're back here, regardless if it's not on the level of what it was back in the day. But I think a lot of people are downplaying it on that, you know, whole aspect. So what do you guys feel about that? I'm torn. I'm gonna be honest with you. Because I think I, I, this is great for hip hop, but we keep talking about what's personal and what's competitive. When we had a chance to live through, we all, you know, same age group. We all lived through the bridge wars. We lived through the Pac wars. We lived through the, through the J, Nas, even X had some stuff, some static with J, right? Mm -hmm. All of those rhymes were interwoven in some personal things. It was personal on a, intimate level and it was personal on a competitive level because back then when you say i'm number one you really meant that it wasn't <laughs> just for banter it wasn't for the public it wasn't for social media i think this time around we looking at this i'm sitting back looking at the social media takes on it and to me i think the social media takes is as loud if not on the same level as the disc records themselves because in live time people are responding and reacting as opposed to digesting and processing what's being said, people were talking about the song less than five minutes since it was out. Can you even process a record that fast? You know what I mean? When we when we heard, I tell you guys, I told Coop this behind the scenes a year of, of about a year ago. When I was in Newport News, Virginia, Bad News, Virginia, um, Bad news. in two thousand and and one, that's when the night that Ether dropped. I was in a club when Ether dropped. Everybody stopped. The DJ said, yo, I got something for y'all. We just got the drop for Nas Ether. We didn't know what he was talking about. Everyone stopped and we got close to the DJ booth because we wanted to hear every single word. He played Ether like 10 to 15 times back to back. This is in a club in Newport News, Virginia. Everything stopped. No one had a reaction. They listened. No one said anything. They listened. Right now, you look at today's social media, everyone has something to say. We're talking about is this AI or not? Is the beat sound good or not? It's so much going, it's so much noise in the background as opposed to us really dissecting what's being said and who's being aimed at. And I'm going to end it like this. I'm going to pass it to you, Coop. 
I told I, I, I hit AJ up on a message. I said, "Yo, we got to be careful about Rick Ross. He's the wild card because he Ross did. can't take it there." About an hour later, here comes the Ross disc. I say that to say this: the appetite for that hip hop that we went through, the era that we went through, it was dead. We was anticipating what the other person is going to say, as opposed to over projecting. I think right now the social media is over projecting everything that's happening right now. That's just my opinion. What you got, Coop? I agree with you. I'm going to take it a step further and piggyback off your sentiment, if I may, because this is what I mean about like the media. Part of the reason why when you was in bad news, they played Ether 10 or 15 times is because the DJ understood Nas is the star of this show. I'm just a conduit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just transferring the information for the star because of how social media works now and because of the way media works. Everybody wants to be a fucking star now. We need to let the stars be stars and do what they do and we need to fall back and do what we do which is disseminate the information and let it play out but everybody wants to be a star so bad that everybody has to be the first to it everybody has to be the one oh it's nuclear that and the other instead of just letting the stars be stars and that's what's going on